Okay, so let's say you're a provider of technical illustrations. You've got a customer that has some very specific styles and things that they've been doing for years in their technical illustrations. For instance, within their detail bubble, they like to have the, to highlight the tool, they really want to have it actually hanging outside of the, um, the detail bubble. Another thing is, instead of just the standard attach that we provide with our detail bubble, they like to have a, an arrowhead on that attach to show it pulling out from this locator and pointing to the detail. Another thing is this, um, the letter A or, or the detail letter, just showing where it's coming from off of the locator, in this case, C detail A. It's just a nice layout. And uh, let's show how we put that together with 3 dba Composer. This is the live um, illustration view that we created the illustration from, but let's go to the detail setup. And I've got my detail view already um, in place, ready to go. But before we do that, let's just talk about this, how this is set up. So first of all, there's an existing detail view sitting here. And we're using that mainly just to um, to set this thing up. So we have that base detail view. We've got the letter here. Um, we've got our Allen wrench, which is actually the only real um, 3D geometry in the detail, in this second step of the detail. And also I've created a little 2D vector panel just to um, just to hide uh, some of that border of the de of the original detail bubble to create a little bit of a um, gap between that and the, the, p the tool itself. And then the last thing is this, um, this arrowhead. And this is just our standard arrow um, and just show it uh, on top of the other arrow and actually overlapping the detail bubble. So let's go back to that view. And then if I um, generate this, I'll do a create. And this gives you the detail. And we'll just isolate down on this. So this is our detail of a detail. First thing you want to do is go ahead and just shut off the, the um, arc. And then we would basically be resizing this. Um, we'll shut the border off. Shut off the shadow, and there you have it. Now, when you bring this into your 3D model here, you will have to um, shut off the, the actual background in order for the model to show through. And there you have it. From there, you're just going to go in and generate your illustration. You get this nice layout matching exactly what your customer wants.